हल्लो 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 जायस्ते वीडियो सो ट्राई टू बी अ किंग इन हाईवे विथ यमहा 125z इज इट लॉजिक और नॉट लॉजिक स्टे ट्यून विथ जायस्ते वीडियो ओके एस यू नो देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ मोटरसाइकिल इन मलेशिया दैट कम फॉर फ्रॉम टू स्ट्रोक क्लास under 250 cc that can be a king in a highway for example yamaha tzm kawasaki double r lc 135 yamaha rxz suzuki panther or txr honda nsr so this is the bike that can be a king in a highway yes this is a bike that can be a king in a highway so To answer the question, can Yamaha 125Z be a king in a highway? So my opinion is yes. Okay, so to clarify my answer, why Yamaha 125Z can be a king in a highway is because even in Indonesia have been stated there's a team, a racing team in Indonesia that import Yamaha 125Z from Malaysia. to indonesia just to make it a racing bike a racing bike you know is not about a domestic use is about a racing bike for racing okay so yamaha 125z is a bike that have been produced for malaysia's market it focus for malaysian yeah indonesia is a country that very popular with suzuki Thailand very popular with Kawasaki and even Honda and Malaysia are very very popular with Yamaha. So 125Z is a bike for Malaysia. Okay. So Yamaha 125Z can be modified, can be modified very very extreme and even it can produce more horsepower. More horsepower and this one can be uh, achievable bit the Kawasaki double R Why I'm comparing Kawasaki double R with Yamaha 125Z The only reason why I comparing is because Kawasaki double R is already a king in Malaysia especially for long distance ride for long distance top speed Kawasaki double R can achieve 260 kmh or maybe around 200 kmh in gps meter and yamaha 125z also can achieve that speed yeah can achieve that speed also but the only thing that you have to do to yamaha 125z to be a king to be uh, to beat kawasaki double r and also yamaha tzm yamaha 125z should have enough horsepower enough horsepower so how much horsepower should be enough for yamaha 125z to beat that kawasaki double r and also yamaha tzm the answer is kawasaki double r have 30 horsepower in standard condition that's mean yamaha 125z also should have 30 horsepower or maybe in advance they have 35 or 36 that will be a factor that yamaha 125z be a king in a highway okay so to make your yamaha 125z as strong as the competitor kawasaki double r yamaha tzm you have to do something you have to modify your yamaha 125z what to modify okay for example is you can put a racing block and also a racing carburetor with racing cdi okay So for racing block you can choose any type of racing block any brand any brand of racing block as long as it has a bigger size of piston yes bigger size of piston the increasing in the size of the piston will increase the amount of combustion that can happen in your engine yes that will become yes the bigger the combustion the bigger the amount of energy that can be produced that that will lead to the production of horsepower yes with bigger piston you will change the character of the engine from a 
from a cube engine yes cube engine to the over square engine so over square engine is a type of engine that have been used in a superbike design engine yes engine for superbike use over square engine so by doing this type of modification it can produce a more horsepower with more horsepower your Yamaha 125Z will be a fair competitor to the Kawasaki Double R and also Yamaha 125Z with fair competitor what mean by fair competitor that's mean your Yamaha 125Z are producing horsepower around 30 to 40 horsepower okay so if you look back at YouTube you just type Yamaha 125Z with 62mm block Okay, you can see there's a lot of people that have been tried to attach this type of racing block to their Yamaha 125Z and the amount of energy, the amount of horsepower that have been produced by this type of racing block combo is around 32 to 39 horsepower and this is not just the outer this is a very fact already there's evidence in a video on YouTube about the Dino session yes from the Dino session already said already state in the chart that can produce 32 to 39 horsepower so that one will be based on your spec is it you are wearing a power jet racing carburetor and also a CDI racing yes with CDI racing you will cut off you will cut off the limiter and also when you put a racing carburetor with power jet you will add on more supply of fuel that's mean you can have a feel like VTEC uh, like VTEC Honda okay so to answer the question is it achievable for Yamaha 125Z to become a king to beat Kawasaki Double R and also Yamaha TZM so my opinion my answer is yes this is a very logic thing it can be done if you have a lot of money as long as you have money you can do anything so this is my opinion and also this is my first video talking about motorcycle with English language so hopefully it can fulfill your needs to know more about motorcycle so Thanks for watching Zayas Dream Video. Bye.